Danielle Blackrick. Today, I'm speaking with Sheriff Don Schneider of Charlevoix County. Sheriff, you're about to retire after almost 35 years of serving this county. How does that feel? Mixed emotions, obviously. You know, I'm going to miss the, the people that I work with on a daily basis, but it's, it's time for me to take care of me now. Absolutely. So once you retire, what are your big plans? Anything I want. If I get up in the morning and decide I'm going to Montana, I'm going to get up in the morning and go to Montana. <laughs> Absolutely. So you have quite the extensive career. Like I said, by the time you retire in December, it'll be 35 years and then 20 years in the Coast Guard before that. So how has it been serving people for over 50 years? It's been an adrenaline junkie in uh, and, and, and the exciting things that, that I see and do every, every day. Uh, it's been an exciting life. I, I, I just don't know how to describe it, to be honest. What would be the most exciting moment that you've ever had, if you could choose one while being sheriff or deputy? I think probably when I was when I was a deputy and I got in a, in a high speed pursuit with a with a bank robber armed robbery, uh, and was able to to corner the, the the person and got the money, got the gun, got the guy, the whole nine yards. So that was the most exciting time. That's awesome. So I know that you've probably experienced a lot, but what would be a more difficult time you've experienced? Most difficult times is going to the people that have, have died, and, and, and many not so very nice in car accidents, plane accidents, uh, boat accidents, trees falling on people, uh, tractors rolling all over it, just a tremendous amount of, of death. And I, I explained that I've got a Minolta SRT 101 camera, not digital anymore. <laughs> um, but the way I explain it is if that camera could speak, that camera would cry. I'm sure. I can't imagine what you've seen, but I'm sure it's been an exciting time. So how would you say it's been serving the people of Charlevoix County? I've been extremely humbled by the support I've had in this county. Uh, I love the county. I love the people in this county. And I, I've been very rewarded by able, being able to support, you know, support them and, and, uh, and serve them. Absolutely. So you didn't grow up in Charlevoix County, you said. So do you think you'll stay after you retire? Oh, absolutely. I love the people here and I love the community. Terrific. So is there anything that you would say to the people after you are, now that you're approaching your end, about who will be, you know, taking over your position? Anything that you'd like to recommend? Well, Obviously, I'm in, in uh, support of my owner, Sheriff Chuck Vonder, who's going to uh, run for my, my office. Uh, Chuck has done a great, great, great job as my, my under sheriff, and it's going to be an extremely easy fit for him to, to move from under sheriff to sheriff. So when you became sheriff, you were also under sheriff. You kind of made that same transition. Can you tell us a little bit about your career from when you became deputy and before that the Coast Guard? Well, obviously, as, as a road deputy, you know, you're out there on the road and, and answering every kind of different com complaint there is. And then as to when I moved on to under sheriff, obviously became more uh, executive type uh, paper pushing. And then as I moved from under sheriff to sheriff, there's a lot more meetings for me to go to as, as sheriff as I did as under sheriff. Absolutely. So what would be something that you think after you retire that you'll have so much more time something that you think you'll do that you haven't had time to do as sheriff there's a little red corvette that sits in my garage that needs some special attention from me <laughs> <laughs> and is your wife retired no she's not but in a couple of years she will as well terrific well don is there anything else that you'd like to say that i haven't talked about about your time as sheriff and what you'd like people to know again i have just been honored by the citizens of charlevoix county to support me in this office Amazing. Well, thank you so much for joining, joining me. You're welcome. Thank you. In Charlevoix County, I'm Abigail Blackrick with My News 26.